Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters and today I'm going to introduce to you my new Andy's Hobby Headquarters Camouflage Masking Putty. It's a really cool product. It is completely reusable so you can use it over and over and over again and we have it at an extremely good price that you might want to check out. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you basically what it is and how to use it. So, let's get started! Okay guys, let's take a look at the Andy's Hobby Headquarters Camouflage Masking Putty. Uh, first of all, what is it? Well, let me open up the can right here and show you. So this shiny stuff inside here is the fully elastic putty. It is non-toxic, it is completely reusable, and technically, as we pull it out of here, it is technically a liquid. Because you can see this right here, it's, it's very, very flexible. And you know you can stretch it out, you can roll it out, you can do all kinds of things. And I can ball it back up just like this, throw it back in the can, drop that lid on it, and if I come back tomorrow, it's gonna look like that again because it's gonna completely flow around, you know, it, whatever container it's inside. So in here, it's gonna flow right inside that. And you can see that this one was stored at slight at an angle, so a little bit kind of formed up on the side, but still comes right out just the same way. So when you have it like this. The beauty of the elastic putty like this, because it has that ability to flow a little bit, you can put it around all kinds of small details or panel lines. And if you let it sit for a little while, what it'll do is it'll flow into those panel lines and make you a really hard line. It does not stick to anything but itself. So when you put it on here, I mean, it'll stick enough that it'll stay, but when you've time to take it off, it comes right off, as you can see there. So what I thought I would do now, I've got this little piece of plastic wing here. I've got some putty and I'm going to show you how to use this first on the wing and let you see how you can do all kinds of really cool things with this putty if you're creating hard lines with it. So let me roll this out into uh, some long strips and we're gonna put it on here and paint this wing up. Okay, I've got a little, uh, little piece of the putty here. Good thing to do is just get a nice hard surface and roll it out. Roll it, roll it, and roll it, and get it to about the size of a pencil. And once you have that, which I now have right over here, I'll show you how you can put it on. And you can just do any kind of shape imaginable with it. And once you get it in the kind of position you want, give it a little, slight little tap there. And then what I want to do on this here is just take it and just pinch off the excess. And you can see you get some nice unusual shapes. And then I just pinch the back off here snap it right off right there and then you go oh wait a minute i want to change that angle you fully can take this off and there you go now there's not a ton of panel lines and undercuts on this so i probably wouldn't let this sit too long but let's do the other half of the camouflage here or the other half of the line and it's going to create a nice hard line for you so i'm just going to wrap that around there for the fill-in, let's say we want to just fill this in here and we don't want to get paint over here, a couple things you can do. You can use masking tape, and with masking tape, you just go down the line here. I would obviously use bigger masking tape to fill in this area, or you can take a piece of this here, snap it out, and then just kind of shape it into a, a big like patty of it, and you could fill all of this in right here and prevent you know any overspray on it there. So let me put some paint on it and then we'll show you what it looks like when you pull the, the masking off. Okay, so I've just filled my airbrush up with a little ammo by MIG paint and put a little coat of that on. Uh, let it dry a little bit there. Obviously, you don't want to pull it off the second you're done, but if the paint dries quickly, which most of these acrylics do, you can pretty much start working, taking the putty right off. So pull it off from the other side. Pull our little shield off on this side here, and you see what you have right there. You have a nice straight line. Now I'm going to show you 
what it looks like when you let the putty sit for just a few seconds or a few minutes longer on there, how it starts to flow into the, the shape. Okay, there it is side by side. So this is what the putty was when I just put it on and immediately sprayed it. And you can see there's just the slightest little bit of feathering on there. This is what it looks like when you let the putty sit for about five minutes. And you see you've got just a very, very straight, straight line for your camouflage right there. And then once you have your putty done with, just kind of roll it all back in there and just kind of blend it back together and it's ready to reuse again. And one other thing I wanna show you too is that let's say you've got a painted surface here and you wanna put some masking over that. Let's show you how this works right here. So let's say you just take this putty and you're gonna mask off this corner right here. We're pushing it into the paint. There's no lacquer, there's no nothing on this paint right now. It's just sprayed directly onto the plastic. And you can put it there for a little while. You can put it for a minute, however long. When you pull it off, you can see it has not damaged the, the paint at all. It hasn't taken any of it off. It's very low tack in that respect. So it's not going to want to pull off like masking tape can sometimes. Masking tape, you know, when you use some of the, the harsher like blue painter's tape, if you let that sit overnight, it's going to pull this paint off on it there. But the masking putty is designed not to do anything to your paint job there. So there you go, guys. There is a look at the Andy's Hobby Headquarters Camouflage Masking Putty. Like I said earlier, it is available on our website, um, andyshhq.com. You can pick it up. It's only $12.99 for the, the metal tin that you see right here. And you can use it for all types of masking needs. So guys, I want to take this opportunity to thank you as always for watching. And please stay tuned because I have many more videos coming.